Hello friends, welcome to Textadicel. In this video, we'll discuss how you can make a home automation project with your own MQTT cloud broker. As you can see, I can easily control the lamps from the smartphone with MQTT and I can also control it from the push button and monitor the real time status in the smartphone. So this is a very useful project and I will highly recommend you to watch complete video as during the video I have explained how the MQTT protocol works, share the complete circuit diagram and a code for this project so that you can easily make this project for your home. So let's get started. To make this home automation project, you just need a node MCU, a relay module and to control the relays manually, we will use push buttons. Now let me connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. For this project, I have used React's RYC1001 MQTT Cloud Broker which you can easily purchase from Amazon.com at $15. So at $15 you are getting their cloud server for 5 years with monthly message limit 100k times which is really affordable in this price range. After the purchase you will get the username and password for React's MQTT server in your registered mail id. And if you face any problem during the purchase then you can also contact their sales team for that. And you can also go through their user manual i will share the link in the description everything is mentioned in details you can just follow the step and make your own home automation project now let me quickly discuss how the mqtt protocol works this is our mqtt broker which is react's mqtt server and these two are the mqtt client client one is our mobile phone and client two is the node mco now each client can publish or subscribe to a topic and we will discuss on these two topic. Topic 1 is switch 1 and topic 2 is switch 1 status. Now topic is like channel on which this client can publish the data to MQTT broker and other clients can receive the data from MQTT broker. Now this client 1 can publish the data on topic 1 which is switch 1. So here I will write switch 1 and this client 2 subscribe to this topic switch 1 so it can receive the data coming from switch 1 topic and this client 2 can publish the data on switch 1 status topic so here I will write switch 1 status as node MCU can publish the data on switch 1 status topic and our mobile phone can receive the data on switch one status topic so here i will write switch one status now let me explain how this works when we try to turn on the relay one from our smartphone this client one will publish the data on switch one topic say if i want to turn on the relay then it will send zero to mqtt broker on switch one topic now MQTT broker will receive the data on switch one topic then it will send the data to the other clients which have subscribed to this switch one topic. In this case node MCU is a subscriber of switch one topic so it will pass the data to node MCU on switch one topic and node MCU can receive that data and accordingly turn on the relay. Now after turning on the relay, node MCU will publish the data on switch1 status topic as it can publish the data on switch1 status. So let me write here switch1 status. And if we turn on the relay, then after turning on the relay, node MCU will publish 0 at switch1 status topic. Now again MQTT broker will receive that data on this topic. Then it will send the data to the clients which are subscriber of this switch1 status topic. So our mobile will receive 0 on switch1 status topic. And after that we can see the real time status of the relay 1. So thus this MQTT protocol works and with that you can implement different type of home automation project and also read the sensor data which we will discuss in the upcoming videos. This is the code for this MQTT project. You can download this code from the description. 
and before uploading the code you have to download and install esp8266 board after that you have to install the pubsub client library you can refer this link or you can go to sketch include library manage libraries then type pubsub client and you have to install this library i have already installed it after that you have to enter the wi-fi credential here you have to enter the wi-fi name and the wi-fi password and this mqtt server will be same so you don't have to change it then you have to enter the username and password which you have received in your registered mail id from reacts after that you can see here node mcu will act as a mqtt client which will subscribe to this topic so any data comes from this topic node mcu can read that data and node mcu can publish on this topic now if i go to void setup you can see i have defined a broad red 115200 then we are defining the input and output pin after that we are calling this callback function so let me go to the callback function so with this callback function we can read the data on the topic which we have subscribed so if the topic is sub 1 then we are reading the data and if it is 0 then we are turning on the relay 1 else we are turning off the relay 1 here we are using active low relay module so low will turn on the relay and high will turn off the relay similarly if you receive the data on topic sub 2 then we are controlling the relay 2 thus we are controlling the relay after receiving any data from the topic we have subscribed in the void loop first we are checking if the client is connected so if it is not connected we are turning off the wi-fi led and calling this reconnect function to connect the mqtt broker again and if the client is connected then we are turning on the wi-fi led and calling this manual control function to control the relay from push buttons so let me go to the manual control function here you can see if we press the first push button it will control the relay one and after turning on and off the relay it will publish the real-time status to mqtt broker if you go through the code you can easily understand but still if you face any problem let me know in the comment section now to upload the code go to tools select node mcu one board and the proper port then hit the upload button now to control the home appliance from your smartphone you also need a mqtt client in your smartphone for that i will use iot on up app you can download it from app store or google play store then tap on open after that tap on 3 dash icon and go to settings then tap on configuration then tap on mqtt broker and here you have to enter the mqtt server details so here i will type the mqtt server name which is iot.reacts.com and the port will be 1883 and we will turn off this web socket now tap on ready now again I will tap on the MQTT broker after that tap on authentication and here you have to turn on the authentication and enter the username and password which you have received in your registered mail id after that tap on ready and again tap on ready if you enter the correct details then the status should be connected now again I will tap on 3 dash icon and go to dashboard and then tap on garden now here first we have to delete all this gadget so i will tap on edit and delete all the gadget showing in this window now i will tap on this plus icon and select the switch i will give the name switch one for the first switch then tap on publish turn on the allow publish then tap on topic string here i will enter switch one as this mqtt client will publish the data on switch one topic to turn on and off the relay one and turn off the prefix device name now tap on ready now here you have to enter the published value so if i want to turn on the relay one i will send zero and if i want to turn off the relay one i will send one 
and as i said we can also monitor the real time status so we will subscribe to a topic so here i will type switch one status on this topic i will receive the data from node mcu to show the real time status of the switch now tap on ready now in the subscribe value i will receive zero if the relay turns on and i will receive one if the relay one turns off now again tap on ready thus i have created the first switch for this project in similar way you have to create four switch for this project to control four channel relay module now i will tap on done now we are ready to control the home appliance from the smartphone using this mqtt client you can see i have connected these four lamps with the relay module as per this circuit diagram and i am using this mobile charger to give 5 volt supply to node mcu now let me turn on the supply the blue led automatically turns on which indicate now the node mcu is connected with the mqtt cloud broker so i can control it from my smartphone so let me turn on all the lamps and i can also turn off the lamps from my smartphone as you can see now let me control this lamp from this push button and you can see i can monitor the real time status in my smartphone thus you can control any home appliance from your smartphone using the mqtt protocol so if you like this project please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day